everybody. There have been recent reports about Donovan McNabb encouraging the Redskins to sign Terrell Owens. Yeah, T.O. If I'm the Redskins, I'd say, you got any other suggestions? I mean, really, why would you do this? Why would you take a chance that the same thing that happened with the Eagles could happen with the Redskins? This is like when someone tries to remarry their ex-partner. It's like, you guys broke up in the first place for a reason. Let's not forget how bad things were in Philly. You had the Eagles deactivating T.O. for the final four games of his career. They deactivated him. They suspended him. They were like, just get out of here. You remember T.O. on PTI? He was saying, I have no desire to talk to Donovan. Just like that. I don't know if the head movement was the same, but I have no desire to talk to Donovan. They weren't even speaking. They hated each other. The locker room was divided. It was a terrible situation. And now all of a sudden they're buddies? They've mended all their differences? I find that hard to believe. I'm also skeptical about how good T.O. is as a receiver now. Look at him last year. Now, forget about his numbers. I'm not worried about his numbers. He had nobody throwing him the football. In fact, I think that's how the Bills announced their quarterback position last year. And now, at quarterback... Nobody. I think that's what it was. But forget about his numbers. If you just watch T.O. play, he was noticeably slower. I saw T.O. run some reverses where I was like, is this the same guy? I saw defenders stay with him step for step a lot more easily and a lot more frequently than they once were able to do. He's just not the same beast of a receiver he once was. Look at his agent Drew Rosenhaus. This was very telling. The other day, Rosenhaus was on TV ranting and raving about the possibility of T.O. ending up on the Redskins. He was saying, oh, this would be a great fit. He'd be reunited with Donovan McNabb, their buddies again. He'd be back in the NFC East going up against the Cowboys and the Eagles, his former teams. It'd be great. It'd be a ton of fun. It'd be like a kiss from heaven. That sort of thing. Do you really think Rosenhaus would be saying the same things if there were a lot of teams after T.O.? He wouldn't be saying that. He'd be trying to drive the price tag up. He'd be saying, well, the Redskins are in the mix. They're one of a handful of teams. If they step up and make a big time offer, who knows? Maybe T.O. will end up in Washington. Maybe. We don't know. Possibly. But he wasn't saying that. He was saying, oh, it'd be great about the possibility of T.O. ending up there. He's speculating about a rumor. That just shows you the lack of interest in T.O. right now. And it's got a lot to do with the fact that T.O. isn't the same receiver he once was. Now, the Redskins say they're not going to sign T.O. And McNabb even denies these reports. He denies even vouching for T.O. in the first place. But of course he's going to deny it. They're not going to sign him, so why wouldn't he do that? But this whole thing makes me think of Eagles fans. Think of the Eagles fan who once had... Donovan McNabb and T.O. together in Philly. This could have been a great combination. They should have been ripping up the league for years. And all of a sudden, it fails miserably. Donovan McNabb ends up on the Redskins of all teams and reportedly wants to be reunited with T.O. I'd be saying, you're killing me. Why couldn't you guys have ripped up the NFL for my team? That's what I'd be saying. But this whole thing makes me think of this. This is sad. This whole report is just sad. T.O. and McNabb could have been great together for years, and it didn't happen. McNabb and T.O. could have been one of the best passing combinations ever. Seriously, they could have been that good. And the fact that it never happened is just a shame. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer.